All right, everybody. Welcome to episode three. What's up? Zero HP podcast. Ian here. We got the trifecta. We got oh, um, uh, Kevin. My name's Kevin. Wow. <laughs> that, was, that was awkward. <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> I was trying to, like, do a cue thing where I pointed to Kevin. He's like, I'm Kevin, but that didn't work. Yeah. But we've now established that was Kevin. Yeah. My, 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 my name's Kevin. My name's Kevin. <laughs> and I'm back. Yeah, Mason's this, back. This is Mason. We shall get cool it's nicknames. Like guest. You know uh, you're a guest twice in a row. Dude, mm-hmm. twice in a be row. Be careful. You might become a permanent Remember, spot. Dude, let's do it. Remember last time I was here, I was like, man, I hope you guys have me on again. Yes. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't mean, like, a week later. <laughs> well, we I were, mean, we, we debated this for a wow. week. Uh, for a week. We I didn't going back we, and forth. Yeah, we talked. We were yeah. like, well, we need. There's a, I, we want to get Taylor on at some point. We yeah. want to get a few other people on. We want to yeah. have Jimmy back, of course. Yeah. But you had to settle. I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. No, uh, no. We were, you know, like, we're like, this. But I was like, Mason, Mason was actually fantastic last week. Thank and you. Mason's the budget Jimmy, dude. And we, wow. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Hey, I mean, that he's great Not nickname. budget in the sense of, like, as a person, but just no, like, I'm amounts of hair. No, that, <laughs> solid point though. <laughs> solid point. Like we don't get the golden flowing hair. No, you don't. We don't. You really yeah. don't. Um, but other than that, you're right there. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. I don't. That was, in my um, opinion. Wow. That was a dude, lot of we weird got to like a we got to like a psychological. <laughs> <laughs> I know mine was not being. I wasn't being passive. I wasn't being passive aggressive. Well, thank you guys. Serious, thank man. you for having uh, me. No, back. seriously though. Yeah, it was fun. No, we, I think we had a good chemistry. We got the, so. we got, we got the psychological breakthrough yeah. for Kevin. It was a big deal. Yeah, big deal. Oh, that was huge. Yeah, mm. it was oh, huge. Other people were like commenting like, about like, that. Was like the thing. Like the, that was the like the topic of the episode. Yeah, it was weird. I was like, I don't like being the center of attention. No, yeah. but but really, guys, thank you for having me back on. Yeah, Fuck I, yeah. I love doing this with you guys. I feel, yeah, like, I feel like the three of us don't we love really doing... get to talk. No, we don't hang out that much because we're all fucking hermits. Yeah. That's a fact. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the only times we talk are game Fridays when we all three play, of us play, play, play Battlefield. Play so this Battlefield. is kind of like a, this is sort of like a deja vu because yeah. we always start the t- podcast with what have you been playing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were playing Battlefield last night. Yep. Yeah. I play it once a week. It's with you two on yeah. Friday now. Yeah. Same. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much my original plan was to play ESO, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> somebody did not download the update. Oh my god! <laughs> so god um, damn it, Ian! <laughs> it was had okay. the update a well, long time. Yeah. Yeah. He's all like, I downloaded that shit the day it came like, out. He's like, it's forty gigabytes. I'm like, dude, what the? It's forty fuck? gigs, man. It is. Like, it's huge. Even on even on decent internet, it's, it's like a huge. Five, it's like it's a, five a five huge hour. download. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what, what was Tremendous that? Was that two and a half minutes before <laughs> Trump came in. <laughs> awesome. It's, it's huge. No, it, anyway, it's a, a five-hour update. Yeah. So um, I started it before we went to go see the movie, and yeah. then came back. Still by the time we came back, there was still a couple hours still left, going, and I was yeah. like, "Well, I won't be awake that long." Yeah. Welcome to U.S. internet. Yeah, I know. garbage. Yeah, garbage. Yeah, Which is better pretty much everywhere else. <sighs> but God yeah, we had yeah, some good times. Good, some <laughs> good and bad matches last night on Battlefield One. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so I mean, what can we say? Where I just, I, I'm just bad at that game, to be quite honest with you. Like, I, I'm just not. A, I think we, we kind of always start out because we play once a week, so we start yeah. out kind of shitty. Yeah. But we start getting better. I start Instantly. getting worse. Like, yeah, that last well, game was. Well, that's just I was you like were, two and nine. That's because <laughs> you were spending the entire time talking about how effective you were being. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if you're telling, if you're, if you're bragging, it means you're doing awful. And you were playing scout on domination. <laughs> Which, dude, it was it worked tiny out. Little, like, it worked out two man. times, obviously. Two of eleven times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's shut up, dude. It worked. <laughs> yeah, I was, well, we I also was, lost the match. I was, so it didn't I was work. scouting everybody, and uh, you know, dude, just, but before that, we had yeah. a badass operation. We did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we really did. Because last week matching. our operations were terrible. Yeah. Yep. So we played the Monte Grappa mission, yes, and, and this time it was we were we on got offense. To the very awesome. end. Very <clears> end until. Um, okay, here's a quick um, public announcement for everyone. If you're not good at vehicles, please don't take vehicles in operation. Yeah. Oh, God. They Stop are driving so tanks needed. You don't know how. Yeah. Like they, uh, behemoths, tanks, airplanes, all that stuff. Like we need those. Like you, the people on the ground need that. You can't just like, oh, I'm gonna try out driving a freaking tank today. I'm like, yeah, I'm no, dude, drive it toward my base. Yeah, go to conquest and do that. <clears> I'm like, that's fine. But I was like, operations, we need. Yeah, like, you get limited spawns. Yeah. Those. Tanks. So yeah, we we lost our behemoth for those last two rounds, and within like two minutes of the match, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dude, that's awful. When we yeah. got to that last fort map the on Monte Graf, yeah, we had no support at all. Yeah, no support whatsoever. And that place is <gasps> tough. Oh my tank. god, they're all in that bunker, like just shooting out the windows, like yeah. downhill. For, yeah. Where we're going uphill, I was like, they lock the doors. Yeah, and you can't yeah, get in there. And they only they give you they only give you one tank spawn too yeah. at a time, which is yeah, a little. 
ridiculous. I yeah, mean. yeah. I don't. I don't. Want, I still don't love the balancing for offense in no. in operations. It's not. Yeah. It's still tough either to needs to be defense. more vehicles for mm-hmm. attackers, yeah, more spawns, um, or just like give us more ticks, or just give an extra waves. Like give us an extra wave. Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. You absolutely. know, like the first wave. I'm like, I get like the no behemoth thing. You try to make it as far as you can, but like we need another. Like wave with a behemoth because that shit is gonna, it's so ridiculous, ridiculously hard without a behemoth. Yeah. If you, can oh, you by the way, a behemoth is the the, the zeppelin. Yeah, the big uh, air, <clears throat> airship. Someone's probably seeing like a broom act from Gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the uh, airship. My King the, Kong. <laughs> dude, I wish. It, I know, dude, that would someone a broom act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great go. PC mod. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> broom act just like mowing down that freaking <laughs> fortress. Um, <laughs> oh, but yeah, it's it's a airship, but um, each map has their its own like behemoth mm. or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's not balanced quite yet for attackers, but it's gotten better. It's still fun. Yeah, it's still fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's it, it's I think <clears throat> the closest thing to like real warfare that you can. Uh, it, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. Like, I wish I had had this game yeah. back when I was like fourteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what I always wanted. Yeah, it was a game that felt and looked just like this. Like, yeah, in the trench, the bullet whizzing by, and the, yeah. the explosions, and like dudes dying, and like, it it looks like a fucking Seven Private Ryan or yeah, a, or a world, any like good war movie does. Yeah, and that's why it's so much fun. Yeah, like uh, sometimes I don't even. Like our squad will get wiped. I'm like, that was so fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we all died. Yes. <laughs> it just looks. It was just like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, that, that's what I we all been, we played last night. What have um, you been playing? What have you guys been playing uh, throughout the week? Anything different um, or same old? Or uh, I tried again a little bit of ESO. Just kind of getting back you're getting into back it because your recommendation. <clears throat> just trying that. Um, I also bought the um, Bandai collection from Humble Bundle. Ooh. We are not sponsored by Humble Bundle, but no. I have thrown this out because it's... The it's freaking, a great website. It is a great website. It's for charity, and like you can, you can, know, it's really cool. The monthly, you actually pay like 12 bucks, and you get the Warhammer Total War game. So in itself, oh, wow. you will make the money back. No, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that's they crazy. Gave you, that's uh, they gave you XCOM 2 away for $12 yeah. a while. Back. Yeah, that's a, it's a $60 game. You're paying for $12. Yeah. And plus, you get another bunch of games later on in yeah. the month. So uh, I bought Jimmy that for his birthday. Nice. Uh, Hell yeah. Because he's been wanting Warhammer. And then <clears> I bought the Bandai ca- ca- um, bundle with, with Humble Bundle. And it came with like Tales of Zetaria. Um, Naruto project cars and nice. stuff like that. So, um, just you know, filling up my Steam library. Did it come with any of the Dark Souls games? Uh, no, it did not come with uh, any of the Dark Souls games. Just curious. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I, that's I started playing those a little bit. Um, I just, dude, literally last night I just got really bored. I just booted up Pac Man. Because yeah. it came with Pac Man, I was like, I'm just gonna play. Why not? Game. Play for like an hour. It's a great game. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, it's a great game. Yeah, I was like, the sound and this like oh, nostalgia. Good, dude, the gameplay is magnificent. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's, that's what I've been playing. Cool. How about you, Mason? Um, uh, recently, <clears throat> I mean, since we spoke last, really nothing. I'm just yeah, waiting. I'm just oh, I'm just twiddling we'll my talk, thumbs. We'll for, talk about uh, that later. Yeah, for, we will get there for for all. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get um, to that for sure. Yeah, but not he, not really like into anything, kind of avoiding the commitments because yeah, we don't want to abandon. Yeah. Just nothing recently is, is grabbing my attention. I, I told yeah. you I tried to, to <clears throat> dive into Final Fantasy. I had some yeah. issues with that. Um, yeah, I do love playing Battlefield, but it's only only at, its, at its peak when the yeah. when you know with three you need friends. Or, yeah. Exactly. yeah, you need yeah, a group. Exactly. Absolutely, because why I don't usually buy multiplayer games. Yeah, not right. because I don't think I'll like them. Yeah, but I don't like to play multiplayer games without people yeah and it's just hard i you know especially like with pc games i mm-hmm. just don't know at when am i going to come in here and play a game for three hours yeah there's really not a you know there's just I not that. and i can't really, really like because the cool thing is like Alyssa's into games so we mm-hmm. play games together and with those games she can't really be included i mean she doesn't complain about that yeah just for right. my personal you know we play mass effect together and we play all this we're gonna play for honor together all that shit mm-hmm. but if i'm playing multiplayer i'm on a headset i'm gone yeah, right. I mean, yeah. like, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. So it's, well, it's, it's just harder for me to yeah. dedicate to the multiplayer stuff. But no. that's why I kind of like pre-planning that shit. Like mm-hmm. Friday nights, we're gonna play Battlefield or For Honor. Or yeah, whatever, it's working out is, really well, which yeah. is cool because like I'm prepared for that. I can let everyone know, hey, I'm gonna yeah. be playing this for this mm-hmm. much time. And I'm so. sure next week <clears throat> instead of Battlefield, we'll be playing for For Honor. Right. For 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 For, 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 for Honor. Yeah. <laughs> for, 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 uh, <laughs> um, it's gonna be so stupid googling something for that. Be like, um, best. Class for For Honor. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, just put best class for honor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can do that too. too yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, what have you been playing, Ian? I finally finished the main story in Elder Scrolls Online. 
Oh, Ooh, nice, dude. Big, 90, 90, yeah. 90 hours? Yeah. 85 hours? Uh, 80 something. Right. 80 oh. something, I gotta look. I haven't looked since Jesus, I Jesus, that's a and long And then I'm game. now in Or- the Orsinium DLC with my orc. Ooh, nice. I always figured, like, he went through all this shit. Yeah. And he's like, man, I'm just gonna go home. Going oh, home, you stuck yeah. You stuck with it? Oh, you recreated your orc. I recreated right. the exact oh, same, same character. Orc. Okay, that's cool. And then I replayed it. Yeah, that's so weird. <clears> that's super good. Because I was, like, 10 hours in with the PS4 one. Nice. Yeah, that's right. So I did that, and then I picked up Madden again. Nice. nice. I started a franchise. Hell yeah, dude. I like meticulously went through because you can force home, you can force win or, or loss, loss for yeah. every team. Yeah. So after the season was over, I literally simulated the season. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. With the exception Wait. of ties because yeah. for some reason they didn't put force tie for, I don't know why, it would uh, not be know. hard. Yeah. But they won't let you force ties. So I got I got it all the way to the Super Bowl exactly like how the season went. Yeah. And uh <clears throat> and then I just Dude, it always astonishes me that you put the time into doing that. And I'm like dude. I was like I have no patience and time for that like, shit. Dude, like, like NCAA when that yeah. was a football game, I yeah. would go through I'd grab the roster on my phone or like yeah. on the computer of yeah. like the Huskies, watching Huskies. Yeah. And I'd go through and I would name like every starter. Oh my god. On the offense and the defense. You have a problem, sir. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, no way am I doing that ever. <laughs> yeah. That's way too much work. <laughs> I've spent hours doing that. I know, dude. That's crazy. <clears throat> so you can play Madden and Elder Scrolls. Anything else? Mm, that's Battlefield. Yeah. yeah, those are the yeah. two games I've been playing. That's yeah. that's it. That's it. I'm, I'm sure it'll be changing with the <clears throat> slew of games coming out here soon. Yeah, so. For Honor. There's a few that I've been like really tempted to buy Resident Evil. Yeah. I just haven't yet. As in Neo as well. Yeah, Neo too. Neo. Uh, and that's Neo actually is... we, well, let's just let's just make that let's yeah. make that our first. So yeah. we've got five news topics. Yeah. Uh, this isn't necessarily news. Yeah. But I wanted to follow up on our conversation with Neo because we were just talking about Neo uh, last time. Mm. Bef- you know, it was before it came out, mm-hmm. um, and it has received an eighty-seven Metacritic score. That's which is so high. Yeah, yeah, for Metacritic, dude, they don't give games that or like anything that's well, shitty. It's that just high. it's hard yeah. to it's even good games. I mean, it's yeah. all it is is just a it's just the combination. It's the average of all the critical reviews yeah. out there. Right yeah. from yeah. game from the big ones like Game Informer and IGN to the yeah. little guys like yeah. you know us. If we put stuff out, that they'll put it on there. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, an eighty-seven that's is ridiculous. so high. It's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. so high because like. The last, the only games that I can think of right now that got in the '90s were like Witcher and Mass Effect. Yeah. Just like off the top of my head, I can't. Yeah. There's only a couple that come to mind. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really rare that you see. Like Mass Effect Two is a '95. Yeah, that's like the highest I've seen. I think. Is it really? Yeah, it's a yeah. Mass Effect Two is a '95. Yeah. 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 Um, so an '87 is. I mean, that's probably going to be in the game for of a year game that just, just didn't really kind of came much out of PR. nowhere. Yeah. 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 And, they, and I know a lot of people are already saying, oh, this is Game of the Year contender, which uh, I'm like, yeah, it looks like it. I've been seeing, I've been watching people play, and I'm like, yeah, I can totally see that. I can totally see that. And I, th- this is the reason that I own a PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. If 100%. PlayStation didn't have these fucking excellent yeah. first-party games, I wouldn't own one. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason I bought a PlayStation console yeah. is, like, these games, they have the best exclusives. And they're always and Sony is so good at nurturing these relationships with these companies. Mm-hmm. They're a lot better than all the other ones companies mm-hmm. yeah, are. They're absolutely, so good at it. And you know sometimes they fuck up. Like they didn't they didn't buy the rights to Dark Souls. They probably should have done that. Yeah, they let Dark Souls do its own thing. But mm-hmm. like, because <clears throat> the Demon Souls was a PlayStation only game. Yeah, and they I let, they, that. let the, they let it go. Yeah, they didn't let him. And then they went and made Dark Souls. <laughs> and they're like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, you know, you still have Bloodborne. Yeah. Uh, and Neo's right in there. Yeah. You know, another just amazing Fantastic, PlayStation yeah. exclusive. Ian, if you remember um, when I was buying my PlayStation, <clears throat> fucking year or two years ago, mm-hmm. I was asking you about it because you had one, and yeah. Um, at the time, it seemed weird to me to own both an Xbox and a PlayStation because <laughs> you're supposed to do one and hate the other one. Oh and, yeah, um, I, it's just I've how been it's supposed to work. talking shit about that whole argument for a long time. <laughs> right. No, exactly. And and um, but I think your point. If if I'm not, you know, if I'm not, if I'm mistaken, correct me then. But I think your point was you, that you don't often turn on your PlayStation, but when you do, it's usually a fantastic first party. They're the best. They're so always like they're almost always game of the year. Can I have. think Uncharted yeah. around uh, like when Uncharted Four came out was yeah. when I got it. So it had to be what like a year ago. Yeah, that came out last year. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. That was when it came out. That's when I got the PlayStation. May, I got the, I think. the Uncharted bundle or yeah or whatever it was. But yeah, I think that was uh, the main main topic of discussion was that their first party games are just. They they sell it's the console. A big part of the reason yeah. why PlayStation Three be ended up being successful in spite of itself mm-hmm. yeah. is like the PS Three was all it, 
They the Sony did the exact same shit that Microsoft did with the one with yeah. the PS3. They came out they're like it's six hundred dollars, yeah. yeah, and it's terrible. Yeah, and our developers don't know how to develop for a cell processor. Yeah, and they don't know how to use Blu-rays. And it was right, just an right. absolute disaster of yeah. a release. And then they came around. And they started. They heard that what saved their ass was all these amazing games that came out for PlayStation Three. And the PS3, in my opinion, was better than three sixty. I like the three sixty. Yeah. I, but like just from a hardware, like yeah, you know, hardware standpoint. How many PlayStation Threes were having red rings of death? Yeah, like, you know. Oh, come God on, damn it. it was a it was a God nicer piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely agree um, with that. So, I, it just they just fucked it up. They got mm-hmm. cocky. Yeah, they got really cocky, and they're like, I don't care if the three hundred and sixty is coming out at four hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, we're gonna be six hundred because we're yeah. Sony, and PS Two is like still selling units, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like hundred something, hundred something million units. Right? Yeah, so they, you know. But they bounced back, and they a lot of it was on the back of those first party exclusives. So Ex- yeah. I'm glad to, and the thing about the PS4 actually, there hasn't been very many. I'm being kind of disappointed. Yeah. yeah, they made the re- remake of Last of Us, which is cool because like a lot of people who who didn't get to play it last year, right. you know, with the last generation, generation yeah. so that's right, cool. Right. But like, if you think about it, like the last two years, they haven't had shit. Yeah, between Bloodborne and Uncharted Four, yeah, there was true. like a dead. Nothing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I just felt like this year's been this generation's kind of been a little bit disappointing with that. So I'm so glad that Neo's come yeah. out. Like now it's starting to take form. They're gonna oh, have yeah. God of War, Neo, yeah, Bloodborne, a, Horizon. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like all yeah. Horizon was supposed to come out last year. It kept getting mm-hmm. delayed. Mm-hmm. So, so th- it's starting to look like they're they're getting back to that. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. So I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I can't yeah. fucking wait for Absolutely. all of them. Hell yeah. So yeah, Sony Sony is. Uh, but I, I do feel like. Unlike last generation, these two consoles are for me. They're about equal. I don't. I, I don't. Say that I mean, there thing. are things that people prefer. Yeah. I prefer controller this. I prefer yeah. controller that. But those are like personal preferences. Yeah, yeah, right. Like you could look at the last two and be like, yeah. "Well, like Same this thing, is yeah. better." Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they're like like Xbox 360 was. I think obviously had a better service online. Yeah. The PSN was hacked for PS3. Yeah. It was a disaster. Like, it was yeah. off all the Multiple time. Times, yeah. It was Twice. just, just yeah, terrible. A couple times, so yeah. 360 was objectively better in that way. Yeah. You know, 360 kept breaking down. The, yeah. there, were, there were things that were just like, I understood if someone just was like, look, I don't want anything to do with that company. Yeah. Yeah. But this one, I feel like they're almost, other yeah, than the yeah, exclusives, the they're pretty much a wash. Yeah. It just comes down to personal. It's because I think the culture has changed too, where like, it, it, like you know, back in that last generation, it like what Mason said, you buy one and you hate the other. And you hate the yeah. other. But now, in this generation of consoles i feel like you just you own everything and everyone wants to be connected and play yeah. together well, yeah we were talking regardless. about that earlier yeah I, I just regardless i think i think that everyone just wants to play together and yeah. that's what happens you know um but yeah i my hope in the future like two or three generations away from now is like we do away with this fucking like uh psn or xbox line and just like have one online oh, yeah. service Absolutely. you know I, you can still sell your console and have exclusive to sell your console um, but this online service is connected to everybody. Yeah, you know? I don't like, think publishers will ever buy it. I know, I know. Well, but I, that's, that's, that's a dream. That's, yeah, it's like it's that's like a oh, like an awesome like yeah. utopia kind yeah. of. I have a dream, and that I, 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 sure yeah, I like Activision's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rolling in their money pile. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. Fucking predator Put laugh. Come on, <laughs> kill me! me. <laughs> I'm an IT. That's, that's us. That's us. I'm an IT. <laughs> but I, I definitely think. The <laughs> <laughs> There's a sidetrack. Sorry. <laughs> um, I definitely think the Xbox versus PlayStation thing still carried over, though. Uh, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I get asked all the time: um, yeah. Are you Xbox or are you PlayStation? I know. Oh, yeah. All, yeah. The, all the time. That's all on purpose. Time. And I'm uh, well. Uh, I actually I have both. And then they're like, "What? what? Wait, what? Yeah. So you're a PC gamer? No, I have no. I have both consoles. Yeah. And they're like, "What does that mean? Yeah. They <laughs> give you a look. Like, you're like, like "What is right, that? Well, I, exactly what I said. He well, doesn't know what he wants in life. <laughs> what, do they, what do they actually say to you when you say that? Are they just surprised? No, it, yeah, they're always surprised. They don't, yeah, they don't call me a Nazi like I just made it out to be. Uh, <laughs> they, they're they're always surprised because that's just that's just the idea is people yeah. think you have to have one, one or, the or the other, and yeah. and it, what always comes up is money, of yeah. course. And I well, like, yeah, and that's the thing is like I'll say that I was because anytime I tell them like, well, I'm not rich, neither am I. Yeah, yeah I was gonna but, say you know, if you knew anything about me, that's yeah. just what I spend my money. Yeah. Right, right, right. I was like, rather than going out to eat every night, I just save my money and buy a console <laughs> at the end mo- of the month. So yeah, or you know, I don't, I don't have kids. Yeah, I don't right. have, I don't have like all this stuff. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't have any obligations. Right, right. right. Illegitimate. I have, I have kids, a mortgage. You know. 
It's about it. It's just, in my opinion, it's just worth it because uh, mainly for the sake of doing this, for having conversations well, with each other. But we're we, we are it. hardcore gamers. Yeah, and that is the difference. Like you know, I think a lot more people are like that dude you were telling us about with the Halo Wars. Right. Oh. Like, God. why would he own two systems? Yeah. Right. I mean, he's not going to play Bloodborne no, or Uncharted right. or la- like that's the thing. A lot of those like. A lot of those Sony exclusives, I think a reason that we love them so much is they are not a, you know, a 20 to 30 million copy seller games. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. right. They're, these are games that are successful between like 5 and 10 million. Yeah. They're, they're, they're hardcore games. Like, they, they're not like something that everyone's going to pick up. Right. Yeah. You know, for one reason or the other. But but just for the sake of us mm. having conversation with each other, like Kevin and I could talk about Halo for five hours, and yeah. I could switch to you and talk about Uncharted for five hours. Yeah. And there isn't some kind of wall that's built there, some kind of Trumpish wall yeah. that's <laughs> separating the two. That <laughs> <laughs> too soon? Is it too soon? No, no, no. no, no, no too no, soon. Man. I just don't want to alienate anybody yeah. listening. All right, we'll fuck them. Um, <laughs> I was instructed to talk less, so let's get into <laughs> <laughs> no, this. Uh, when were you instructed? I think you're a liar. I, I was think partially you're a goddamn liar. I was think you're basically like Trump right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. God. Table oh, flip. God. Table flip. Yeah. <laughs> Can I drop oh. your mic? And a couple I... of listeners, <laughs> shut that shit off and unsubscribe. <laughs> Boycott. Boycott. <laughs> okay. Um, um, next news story. Activision. Yeah. Explains why 20... This is the title I'm reading. <laughs> explains why 2017's Call of Duty is going, quote-unquote, back to its roots. Uh, before we dive in on that, let me find a few other quotes that we... Oh, so here's... This is... Uh, I'm getting this from GameSpot, just to quote my source. Mm-hmm. Um, so, quoting the article, Speaking as part of a conference call with investors, Chief Operating Officer Thomas Tipple... Nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Little Tipple. <laughs> All right, give me the tipple, bro. Uh, First discuss 2016's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Uh, Before I even dive in, did either of you play Infinite Warfare? Uh, A little bit. When I was sitting at Jimmy's house, like we played a little bit there, but I didn't. I didn't really get. It. We just played the multiplayer maps. Oh, I didn't yeah. see any same, single yeah, player. Yeah, same thing. My brother picked yeah. it up. I played like two matches. Yeah, it it matches. just felt like. Yeah, um, well, the multiplayer was not good. I heard. Yeah, it just felt like Black Ops Three, which I I played a lot of, but just because yeah. I've always been a Call of Duty fan. I'll give. Yeah. I just want to give them props. Because, like. I didn't finish it because mm-hmm. it just Call of Duty is a great shooter franchise. Yeah. They're really good shooters. They're yeah. good yeah. first person shooters. Yeah, yeah. I just for whatever reason I don't like the feel. I'm not yeah. into the snappy yeah. tick 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 tick. Yeah. And but I will praise like their they went way sci fi and it was a pretty yeah. cool story. It is, yeah. Pretty I cool did, universe. Yeah, it, was pretty cool. it was a risk. Yeah, definitely. And Activision let them kind of take a leap, which is cool. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, you know, Ubisoft is doing with For Honor. Yeah. So I always like that when these behemoth, disgusting companies yeah. end up like showing a little bit of like artistic, uh, artistic, I don't know, like liberties. Liberties. Sorry, yeah. I have the word for it. Yeah. Uh, I just like to give them credit for that because yeah. it's, it's rare that we see it. Uh, so he said, well, he described it as, quote, a high-quality, innovative game. He revealed it underperformed their expectations. Wasn't it on the top of the sales chart for, like, three months straight? Yeah, but uh, we're, we're not holding it. We're holding it against normal standards. They have Call of Duty standards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, like, they're selling millions of copies. Hundreds. Like, or not yeah, hundreds huh? of millions, but, like, like, like tens, tens of millions. Tens of millions. Yeah. 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 So they should be selling. I wonder. I didn't see what they were selling, but he said yeah. we already knew sales were down significantly compared with previous year's Black Ops 3. Yeah. But what does that mean? It just means that no one gives a fuck about Call of Duty well, anymore. Well, no. I'm sorry. I mean, like, no. like you were saying, though, when yeah. you compare it to Black Ops 3, Black yeah. Ops 3 was fucking huge. But it's I know. Free. And, like, yeah. they, because people bitched about Black, including me. Actually, yeah. Black Ops was the last Call of Duty I played when mm-hmm. I, yeah. I decided I was done with the franchise. Okay. Yeah. Until Infinite War was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm saying, to your point, Kevin, yeah. um, what's their idea of bad sales? I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's just... Depends. 10 million? Yeah. 10, yeah it's 8 million? 10 million? Yeah, I don't know what they <laughs> sold. We'd have to go look. I'd yeah. have to go find it, but I... But yeah, I'm thinking like they I'll look they on average sell. I think the last figure I seen was like 36 million. What? Yeah, I'm like and that's for, bad sales. Yeah, that's the, no. Right. Well, I mean that's no, that's good sales. Keep, keep a million. conversation going. I'm gonna look it eight up. or nine million or ten million. That shit is like below standards for them. I think that they expect a game to that's released every year to do the same every year. Right. I'm like, yeah. dude, this is not how this works. Like Ubisoft has learned this because right. of Assassin's Creed. That's not how the, you know, yearly releases, I cannot say this enough, I just do not like yearly releases. Right. Like, stop Agreed. making games every, and like, 
I get it with sports games, but even with sports games, most of the time it's they should just do a year and a half. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. It's just like is. just even with sports, it's just like roster update mm-hmm. most of the time. So I'm like, year release games are not on my radar at all. I'm like, I just do not like them. So with Assassin's Creed though, didn't they didn't they change their mind on that? With yeah, the... they didn't release one last year. Yeah, so they were like, oh, we're gonna try. Oh, to they work got it. it. They finally understood. Yeah, right. Like, and well, and I think the reason was not. Actually, because Syndicate was bad. Yeah, Syndicate was great. Yeah, I love Syndicate, but no one played it. Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. And then they were like, "Fuck, we just wasted a great game." Yeah, they exactly. could have released Syndicate two years later. Probably yeah. would have done well. Yeah, built exactly. some hype around because that was a good yeah. game. I loved those characters, yeah. and I'm probably not going to see them now because it didn't sell anything because yeah. they kept forcing Assassin's Creed on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and so sense. I think they felt like they wasted that money and that really good effort from that team. Mm-hmm. You know, and absolutely. the game wasn't perfect, but I, I really enjoyed it. And it, yeah. it probably would have done. But really that's well. what I'm saying. Like, stop forcing that shit down our throats every year. Like, we can expect. A Call of Duty, um, a fucking... I can't of, find how many copies. They, they, yeah. they, they don't want to tell us because yeah. it's not as good as they want it. They only tell you when it's successful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. asshole. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, like, not down with the year releases at all. Agreed. Um, even with sports game. I got, I literally, I'm a huge basketball fan, and I bought a NBA 2K for eight years in a row. Eight years in a row, and that shit is... I mean, there was a lot of evolution in between, you know, the old ones to the new ones. But it still just wasn't enough. Like, there was just a little bit upgrade and just a little bit upgrade in the next year and a little bit upgrade. Yeah. Next year. I'm like, dude, just just wait two years and just release a really cool you know, game. It's like, one thing when they're back, like, in the during the PS2 original Xbox yeah. days, there were multiple companies making multiple licensed sports games. Yeah. So that, like, it's a kind of a classic capitalist thing. Like, yeah. that that competition forced them to really yeah. push themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. So the year early releases mattered because they were like, well, this game does this, well, our game does this, well, our yeah. game does this. And so you had this great, but then like, the, 2K was so much better than live that yeah. they just shut them down. Yeah. They stopped making games. <laughs> yep. And then Madden EA just has a monopoly that yeah. apparently is legal. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just monopolized it because yeah. NFL is a private. Yeah, they do the same thing, thing with UFC. Yeah, the EA, I just, EA the just bought owns it. The, yeah, they yeah. just own that license. They, no one else can. THQ when they went uh, belly up, they had they sold that license that they had with the UFC to EA. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're all like, well, EA is made out with like like bandits basically. Yeah, know? we were having that discussion about the price of yeah. that game because I was like, um, recently was thinking about buying it. It's still sixty dollars, and I was like, wait, like, why? It's the and only UFC game. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you explained that when it's a yeah. yearly thing and yeah. it's the only product, yeah. uh, they're obviously going to keep it as high they're as possible. They're not going to give like, you a break, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes yeah. sense. That's just... I know it's so stupid. Like, uh, I don't understand how monopolies are illegal in the game industry when yeah. it's not legal in business sense in any industry in the worldwide, you know, um, or maybe not worldwide, just our country. Right, right, right. right. Um, but still, yeah. yeah, I'm just like, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really don't see why games have to be released. And with the, the, the talk of Call of Duty going back to its root, just to bring back the topic here, yeah. I, I'm thinking... World War Two. What do you guys think? I'm thinking World yeah. War Two is. Worth I absolutely agree with you. I think they've seen that they can be successful in that area, and, yeah. and people would love it. People yeah, would love I'm, I'm honestly, I'm ready for a World War Two show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm fuck like yeah. done with the modern stuff. But just don't do like, Normandy Beach. Yeah, I know. Right? Or fuck it, do you it. Have I don't do yeah. Beach. But they, do you have to do Normandy Beach. with the new. You have to do Normandy. But with, with the new <laughs> updated, dude, can you imagine? Here's the thing I care about though, because like Battlefield One campaign was garbage. Yeah, that's garbage, garbage. And like they could have, there were so many opportunities to really cool. Yeah, just like because like Call of Duty Two, and like the original Medal of Honor back on PC, like they didn't do anything original as far as the game setting. But it was the first time in a game that we got to play yeah. those classic, epic. Moments that we know from history, right? Right. right that right. here's this is just saying, Private Ryan. Right. Right. We just put you in it. <laughs> you yeah, know, I, I, I know, mean, there was right. no <laughs> shame in that. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, as long as we kept doing it, that's what I wanted from Battlefield One. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's you're gonna charge from a trench and yeah, like you're gonna do the. We never did anything like that. No. Right. So I just hope that they're not afraid to to do the same thing with us. Yeah. I want a good campaign. I don't really yeah. care about multiplayer. Yeah. And the thing is, Call of Duty sells on their multiplayer. That's yeah. what I was going to say. And unfortunately, even obviously, you know this. Yeah. Um, they, they're not basing their sales on the, <laughs> yeah. on the, the I campaign. think last year does change that. A lot of people like Battlefield 1's campaign, yeah. and a lot of people like Doom, which yeah. is a single player campaign. Yeah. Infinite Warfare's number one thing yeah, was, was the their campaign. campaign. Yeah. So, like, the single player first person shooter is clearly not dead. But right. the, here's right. the thing that they have to balance it to because, like, the previous year was like, oh, the multiplayer is great. 
but then they focus on single player this year, right? And then now they have the opposite problem. It's so tough. It's just yeah, it's tough. It's a good. It has to have a good balance of the two. You know. Yeah. Like, remember when um remember when Titanfall came out on yeah. 360 and it didn't even have a single player? Yeah. How everyone was losing their shit. Yeah. Well, they're what? Like, uh, Titanfall, Titanfall first came out. Oh yeah. Yeah. No one was like. They had no. Oh, what the fuck? Where's the Where's the campaign at? Yeah. Like, well, and well, then watch their multiplayer some... suite was shallow as fuck. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Right? Six maps. Yeah. yeah. No customization. I think that their, I can't even say single player, their campaign rather yeah. was like a metagame. If yeah, I remember correctly. it was like it was a, a map after right, right. map. Yeah. The Titanfall 2 campaign was good. Yeah. That's another example there yeah. of like the, kind of the comeback. But yeah. The, uh, the tip continues. Yeah. Uh, in 2017, Activision will take Call of Duty back to its roots. This is an interesting part. And yeah. traditional combat will once again take center stage. Traditional. traditional. Mm. Uh, Redcoats? Yeah. Redcoats go. Marching in line. What the <laughs> fuck? That makes no sense. We will fight traditional. <laughs> like gentlemen on the battlefield. Child! <laughs> <laughs> Fire! Um, oh, man. Beyond that, no further details were shared. It stands to reason that this year's game, which was greenlit more than two years ago, will feature a classic or modern day setting. Because they might be going back to like modern day, war like warfare, modern warfare one. One, well, maybe. But I, I, I doubt. I it. think that's boring too. Well, they just yeah, did the remastered of um, I know. of Modern Warfare. And, yeah, but and it was fuckers sealed it behind forcing you to buy Infinite yeah, Warfare. So 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 it so oh, yeah. doggies are barking. So Sorry about that, guys. Pups are barking at like people walking by or something. <laughs> so what happens when you listen to a ghetto podcast like ours? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Any final thoughts for sure about Call of Duty? No. Any final? Don't thing? care. <laughs> if it's World War II, I might buy it. I mean, we'll principle. see. We'll see. Not Something. that I don't care, but I'm excited to see what happens. I, I probably still won't buy it right when yeah. it comes no, out. No, I won't buy it when it comes out. Yeah, but not, if it's a World War II and it, like, it gets great reviews for the campaign, I'll probably pick it up. Yeah. No, why not? Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to deny a good game, so, I mean, we'll see. I'm just not... Except for Witcher. I don't have any expectations. <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> expectations. I don't have any expectations for it at all, so... That's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> right. No expectations. Um, so, this next topic, also from GameSpot. Thank you, GameSpot, for yeah. all of your stuff. Yeah. I, I, was, I was trolling your website. Yeah. Just want to make sure we give credit. Uh, so, this one is also a tie back to what we were talking about last week with yeah. uh, Fallout and Skyrim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So new updates for a pair of Bethesda games: Fallout 4 and the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Special Edition are now available. Um, they're huge uh, patches, 1.4 and 1.9. Good. Uh, they're already available on PC, but mainly, the, specifically, you can now easily see the number of favorites uh, on your mods. So it changes about the uh, UI and the mod menu, and also it uh, apparently there's a bunch of bug fixes. Um, there's all kinds of shit in here. Enhanced. So that's the PS4 Pro also. We're uh -huh. making it like compatible with that thing. Interesting. Um, let's take a look and see. There's fixes. General performance and stability improvements. Improvements to reporting mods categories. Fixed occasional crash crashes. Uh, improved Bethesda.net error messaging. Uh, for Skyrim, uh, more mod stuff. Uh, console mod support. Oh. Um, <laughs> and fixes. Same thing. Occasional crashes. So just it's just general like maintenance of the <laughs> games, fixing all the problems that I probably mean, should have been fixed upon. Release. On one hand, <laughs> and, you know, good for Bethesda for doing that because yeah. they you know they're still maintaining their games. Good for them. But on the other hand, I'm like I don't care. <laughs> I'm like I'm like I am not playing those games right now. No. I understand there are people are there are, there are there are people out there that still play the game, but like. I'm like, I already put like 300 hours. You should have fixed this shit a long time. Ago. Right, well, that's like, that's exactly what I was. I think Fallout say, 4 yeah. is the fine was the last game that Bethesda gets. Yeah, I'm like, a, dude, a, yeah. A, a freebie on. Yeah, dude, get fucking switch your goddamn engine. Yeah, get a new engine. Yeah. And like the thing is, I think what this was, and this is probably biased, but like what happened is that they were like, Fallout 4 got made in a vacuum. Yeah. And they made it, it was old, and it had all these glitches. But the reason we were always okay with the glitches is because there was nothing else out there. Yeah. No one was competing with Skyrim. When it yeah, came yeah. In, in scope and nope. grandeur and, yeah. you know, it's still pretty good gameplay. Like, yeah. all, like, no one else was even close to that. Yeah. So then they're making Fallout 4, and they're doing, like, we're just going to do what we always do because it's great. And then, yeah. like, Witcher came out. Yeah. yeah. And it was a better game than Skyrim in probably every <laughs> possible way. Right. Like, on the yeah. objective way. I mean, yeah. if you personally prefer yeah. the story, where that's fine. Absolutely. But just from a sense of, like, the glitches, yeah. which there were only a few, like, little physics-based problems I had in Witcher, but there yeah. were nothing horrible, like, that comes out with the Fallout games. Right. And it was more personality, and the quests were... It's just, it was bigger and better in every way, and then yeah. it came out, and everyone was like, oh, I just played Witcher, like... 
Yeah. Right. Fallout 4 is nowhere. <laughs> you guys like, so now they're like, fuck. Now they have to compete. Yeah. They have someone else who's making games on the same level. Yeah. Well. And to, um, just speaking as someone who does does still currently play the special edition of Skyrim. <laughs> oh, on, I, I was not too yeah. long ago, too. So. On console? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, not on console. Thank not, you. Not yet. Yeah. You haven't been through the struggle, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so to your point, Ian, yes, you're right. This shit should have been fixed long before, um, probably with the original game. But yeah. even with the special edition, of course, um, I do have one really, really big issue with the special edition currently that I want to get your guys' opinion on. Um, so they added mods, obviously, as you know, which is awesome. Right. If you enable a mod, it deactivates trophies and achievements. achievements. Okay, now, now, uh, if you enable a mod that is purely visual, uh, yeah, aesthetics it and disables stuff. achievements and trophies. Yep. Yeah. Which to me is an issue, because I bought that game. I wanted trophies on my PS4. For it, so I bought it for PS4. Yeah. Um, and then I bought that game because I wanted to play with the the new aesthetic mods. Yeah. And then I can't do that if <laughs> I want, want trophies. So I have to beat the game, get all the yeah. trophies, and then enable the mods yeah. to see it in that new yeah. that new light. And I wanted your guys' opinion on that. And yeah, I mean, I I guess it it makes sense though because like you're you're gonna beat the game. And then what do you do at the end game? Like, there's really not much to do. So then that's when they your ideal time to mod is then is what well, they want. They're you doing to do. it because there are mods available yeah. that give you invincibility yeah. and give you. you but know, they're declaring all mods yeah. to be like that. That's so that, that's, that's it's possible yeah. to identify. I turn the fan on if it makes background yeah. noise. Fuck you! I don't care. Yeah. We're dying in here. Yeah. <laughs> I am at least. Yeah. So I turn the fan on. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so I just think that, like, I don't know if it, is it just too technically complicated to, like, sift through, okay, these mods won't deactivate, and these mods will deactivate. But is it? It's, um... That's what I, I don't know. It, yeah. That's Whoever, what I'm saying. It depends on the... So, so Steam mods versus console mods are completely different. I have totally. no idea how the console mo mods work. I've never done that. It works like, exactly the same as Steam. Okay, so... Okay, if it works the exact same as Steam, there's not much there's just, regulations. There's just an in-game menu. Yeah. There's yeah, not there, really, there's not. yeah, there's not much regulations on what works and what doesn't. Like, there's probably a little more regulation. Yeah. Like, I know that there is. Like, yeah. Sony's terrible. Yeah. They're like, well, we don't want this uh, this yeah. this one on here. Like, yeah. Well, fuck you. Okay, so then yeah, that may be different. Than that. But yeah, I don't know if they go in there and check and see what it does. Or, like, there's some... Because uh, I don't know. You would have to go in there and check each line of code. For that mod, like as a program, I'm not. I'm pretty sure no one will want to do that. Right. For like thousands of mods, they would not sit down there and just like watch line and line of code and you know. Yeah. So I doubt it. Um, so yeah, I think they would just have to say, you know what, if it's a mod, we can't give you achievements. Yeah, Next but I, I still think it's on them because it's like, well, you remade this game. Why didn't you add the first mod? The most downloaded mod yeah. is the official Skyrim patch. Yeah, Which no. fixes all the problems. <laughs> Go through and fix all the fucking problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, right? This game's been out for five or six years or whatever. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just kind of on Bethesda. Yeah. But as a publisher, they don't give a fuck. Just shit this into the wind and yeah. make a bunch of money on it. Yeah, yep, because right. they, they know people are going to still buy that shit. This game has sold over 20 million copies. Yeah. A fantasy role-playing game has sold over, sold over 20 million copies. Dude, I see, did you see that old woman on YouTube... She's like streams her gameplay and she just plays Skyrim. She's like sixty or seven years old. She's blowing up. Too. Yeah, she's like really popular. That's funny. She just sits there and she's like, I'm not very good at the game, but I really like just exploring the Skyrim. And she's like, and she's like, whenever she's playing, she's just like talking. I'm like, oh, she's just nice, like nice old grandma. And she's probably like, making more money now than she's ever made. In her life. I know, dude, it's crazy. Yeah. Does she have like a Patreon? Or yeah, something? no, like a Twitch she's on or Twitch. Yeah, Twitch mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Man. So, uh, but yeah, I'm like, dude, people. It, it's apparently Skyrim can touch all ages, dude. Anyone can play that Dude, game. Dude, I mean, no, yeah. I, and we, we, we've been critical. I'm just, yeah. I'm always critical of things I love. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. So I do think that Skyrim yeah. is one of the great games of all time. Yeah. So I, 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 if I ever hear me dissing Skyrim, it's yeah. just out of uh, I love my it. ability I to try and, like, I try to yeah. really nail down the stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's stuff that I can complain about. <laughs> about anything. Um, but no, it's, it's a wonderful game, and yeah. I, it, I mean, I'm probably going to buy it again someday and right. play it on my Xbox and I want all the achievements, so. Right. But I'm yeah. still going to give them money. Don't use, <laughs> don't use mods. Yeah, no, but, I won't. But back to the point, it was just like, they should have fixed this already. They should have already, yeah. yeah I mean, you shouldn't been, need mods to fix, yeah. to fix game Well, play. it's been out like for two years. I'm like, you two years and you guys barely fixed those, some of the glitches that everyone's been complaining about? What the fuck? Yeah, terrible. So, terrible stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then this is kind of a two-parter, yeah. and we're kind of going back to Battlefield 1. Yeah. 
Uh, this is the last thing of the week. Yeah. Uh, for, it wasn't a huge news week. Yeah. There was, just quickly, yeah. there was a little thing about Red Dead Redemption. It was not enough for me to really feel like it needed a huge segment. Yeah. But he was just, they were just coming out saying that their online mode will not compete with GTA's online mode. What the f- it's pretty what much always. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't mean? know. They were like, well, do you think that you're going to have players leaving GTA 5 online to yeah. go to GTA, or to go to Red Dead Redemption 2? They're going to yeah. play and both like, of them. Yeah, they're like, yeah, that's what, you, that's what they yeah. said. They're like, no, like... But they were saying it's going to be different. They're going to try and make it different um, because they're they're not in the same setting, and you wouldn't yeah. be able to have. What are you going to do if you have a bunch of money? You can't buy cars. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> buy different horses buy. with different uh, patterns on them. Da Vinci helicopters yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, GTA Five Online is its own game now. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so big. It's it's yeah. People just play it for it's the online. online. Yeah, they reached seventy five million copies sold. Jesus GTA Christ! What? They reached seventy five. Oh my! It was seventy two <laughs> a while ago. Now they're up to seventy five. Wow! Seventy five million. That is insane. Shit. Dude. It's just like I don't even I've, I've never seen anything like that. It's yeah. crazy. I I mean, has there been a game, one game that sold more than that? I mean, it, not including like the shit that came with the Wii. No. That doesn't count. Yeah, people just love it though. Were you guys GTA fans at all when you were younger? Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, so, I played. I played with two, three, <clears throat> four. Yeah. four. Remember when you played San Andreas and you found Tell that little two-player symbol? Yeah. And you would yeah. get your buddy to play with you. Yeah. Like, it was on one screen and it wouldn't go split screen. Did you ever do that? No. Yeah, so they had yeah, in one in a couple of hidden areas you could find a little floating orb yeah. that you would step on and it would be two player. Yeah. And your buddy could plug his controller in and jump in. But yeah, like it was screen. one screen that you yeah. shared. It would it would take the camera high up above you and you could only weird. really do anything. It was very weird. Yeah. And you were like, Oh god, this is amazing. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then you were like, Imagine if, if, you, if you had your people. own screen, yeah. and now they have um, uh, lobbies or servers or whatever with yeah. like 40 people go into it, yeah. it's just a world yeah, You can just close your own world off, yeah. Yeah. which Absolutely. is cool, because like, if you all had to play in there, if yeah. you've ever gone to the public ones, oh, yeah. they just run around, they just kill everybody. everybody it's yeah. just all at war out there. Yeah. It's so hilarious. It's cool you get like, private ones. It's a blast. It's, it's yeah. hilarious because you can totally troll your friends and stuff like that. You just like whenever they're just driving by, and just blow them up with a rocket oh, launcher. Oh, you, uh, or something you can like that. you can um you can assign bounties to people. Oh yeah, and, that's why you can say. And then uh, everyone else <laughs> in the lobby can... is like they get a notification yeah. on their cell phone that says, yeah. "Hey, from Kevin, who's yeah. a piece of shit." Um, he'll give you forty million dollars if you fucking murder this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and so everyone tries to kill you. It's a good time. It is a good time. It actually, I enjoy it a lot. So. Um, but yeah, that's uh, what, what's the news here? Yeah, so the Battlefield one. So we have two two things. Yeah. Um, so a potentially big. Uh, you'll never guess where we got this news from. Gamespot. Gamespot again. Damn it! That was my guess. Uh, <laughs> what sounds like a potentially big update for Battlefield one CNN. is slated. <laughs> <CNN. laughs> <laughs> fake news, bro. <laughs> the truth is fake. <laughs> uh, what sounds like a potentially big update for Battlefield one is slated to launch in just a few days. Uh, stay tuned. Oh, I love this. You guys will like this. This is from someone at Dice uh, the, at the Twitter, Battlefield Twitter. <laughs> stay tuned. The winter update is coming. Oh, oh shit! Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, gotta damn. love it. You know nothing, GameSpot. Yeah, the, God, yeah. the gods <laughs> bless them. The gods bless them. <laughs> the gods bless them. Um, so it's arriving next week. Uh, nice. This was written on February tenth. Oh, okay. So yesterday. Cool. Um, it's not tied directly to the game's first expansion, They Shall Not Pass. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> which launches sometime in March. Yeah. Uh, which we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, there weren't any details confirmed regarding the update or what it consists of, though we do have some idea of what to expect. Um, they launched public test servers for Battlefield 1, and the changes there maybe end up what's in this update. Those include the return of ribbons, which grant experience for reaching certain milestones. Yes. Cool. An increase to the maximum class rank to 50. What the fuck? And the ability to what vote. What is it at now? Ten? Ten. Ten, right? really? Yeah. It's like, and the best guns are given to yeah, you ten, so what the on. fuck is the point? Yeah, you feel they, like you're doing better? Are they adding more guns? No. no just uh, continue. More skins! I'm, I'm more sorry. skins! I'm sorry. For I would me. love that. Oh, yeah. Guns, That'd be awesome. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Uh, and then the best part, the ability to vote for the next map at the end of the game. Woo! What a novel idea! It's so original. It's like they did that in the so fucking Halo 2. It's just so original. That's I super just, original. I wish other developers would do I know. this. Man. Why isn't that just some more common? I love how like, EA is one of those companies that can like take out something that's been in games for decades yeah. and then bring it back and be like, look what we came up yeah. with. Yeah. And, you, <laughs> and this is free. Yeah, digging up this grave and but giving it to here's you. Co- yeah. Here's cookie doggies. Yeah. Here's cookie. <laughs> but you know there's people reading this article going, what? Oh shit, that's fucking Dude, awesome. Yeah, it's so awesome. Yes, yeah. Woo, yeah. EA just came up with a new console. It's going to blow everybody out of the water. 
Fuck. If you take it away long enough, people yeah. will forget that it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, and Jesus, now they're now they're geniuses they're and like praise to do that. Yeah, you know? and we're like yeah. we're the ones who we should be thankful to them, yeah. our overlords. Yeah. I fucking hate these publishers. So and then sometimes, hey, I'm you like, both know we're gonna play it though. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, yeah. It's like I'm a drug addicted guy. Right. I don't like my dealer. Doesn't yeah. mean I can't. <laughs> not you, got, you have battlefield <laughs> Stockholm syndrome. I'm yeah. just I'm, I'm getting yeah. better about not having to buy games immediately and yeah. not pre-ordering yeah. and just shit like that. I, I right. don't... Yeah. Uh, fuck GameStop. Did you guys hear about the GameStop? No. This is stuff we already knew was happening, yeah. but now it's like really like out yeah. in the open now. Before it was like something everyone kind of knew. Yeah. Um, it's called The Circle of Life. Oh, yeah. You heard about this? Yeah, go I- explain. Jim Quisition did a thing on it, but mm-hmm. everybody did it. It was all... They all reacted to mm-hmm. the news. A, a, a previous kind of high-level employee, I think yeah. it was in like the legal department or something. Yeah. Go look it up. Fact check me, please, because yeah. I, I might be remembering some stuff wrong. Yeah. But the main thing is the things we know, right? Yeah. GameStop wants to sell used games, yeah. get pre-orders, yeah. and have people trade in. Yeah. Right? That, that, that's how they yeah. make business. Yeah. So, but it just came out, and again, it's like, I feel like we knew this, but to hear a game, a, a GameStop employee... He really re- puts yeah. it into perspective. Yeah. Th- these, their people are being fired from GameStop who sell games but they don't sell enough used games and they don't get enough pre-orders and they also because of that they've been getting fired a lot like they're getting rid of people who aren't selling enough stuff yeah they're the employees are being forced to lie to people about stuff Oh, I'm sorry. Our our stock of new Xbox Ones are out. We only have refurbished ones. Oh, uh, we don't have any new copies of Dark Souls Three. We only have used copies. And then, if I'm not mistaken, Ian, then they mark up the price of the used product, right? Oh, is yeah. That what it was it's a, well, the used product yeah. is 100 percent profit. Profit, <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Right, right. So the developers get nothing. Yeah. yeah. Nothing from it. Yeah. So it's like this weird dichotomy of these two companies that mm. rely on one another. And this yeah. is not just GameStop. This is everywhere that sells physical yeah. games. These companies rely on one each other to get the games in people's hands, but yeah. they hate each other because they're actively screwing each other over. Yeah, you, know, you had the you had EA with the online passes, yeah, <laughs> trying to fuck up oh. the used market, yeah. yeah, and then you had GameStop with all this used stuff, and they're trying they're lying about and like it, it's this weirdest thing where they're forced to work together, yeah. but everything they do is opposite of interest of what the other needs. Yeah. it's just crazy, That's and I'm like. It's just like it just hit me like I go to I don't go to GameStop a lot, yeah. but like I'm probably never gonna will go in there again unless yeah. I have to. For sure. Had, have you guys been to one recently? Well, <laughs> yeah, because I I got that pre order for the Switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, because like that's the that's the one thing for GameStop that I like is that when there's like a collector's edition of a game that I want, yeah. like a the only time I buy a collector's edition if it's like a not like a core game, yeah. Elder Scrolls or Witcher, like a really yeah. core franchise that are like in my top five or whatever. And so I go, well, I do want those on day one. Yeah. And I want to go pick up those collector's editions. And it's the one time I'd pre order. Right. That's it. Yeah. You know, so that I might still do, but for the most part I'm done. I'm not gonna buy games there. I'd I'd rather just give the money straight to the publisher and straight to the developer. Yeah. Well I, I asked if you had been to one because <clears throat> they're all um at least of the three I've seen have giant clearance signs in their windows. Really? Well dude, yeah. they bought in an attempt to like keep get the water out of the basement yeah. of yeah. their sinking ship, they yeah. bought Think Geek. Oh and it's yeah. become like a like a hot topic for gamers in there yeah. if you go mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. Shirts and trinkets yeah, and toys right. and magic yeah, cards yeah. and yeah. like they barely even sell fucking games there. And there yeah, anymore. and and Think Geek was going down too. So they, yeah. just, they just bought this struggling company. Yeah, yeah. Two struggling, struggling company. company. <laughs> um, but GameStop is fucked, and I want to make sure that they go down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I really that it's just a po- I've worked there. It was a poisonous place to yeah. work. It sounds like the environment has gotten worse and worse for those poor employees. Yeah. And that company is going and down. It's kind of their own doing. They, they pretty much monopolize their market. They I remember when there was like an EB Games. Mm-hmm. There was like, uh, there was a bunch of other games, smaller game stores that were running in competition against GameStop. In uh, Metro Center, um, you know, this, that was the mall. They had like a, a GameStop and an EB Games, but they bought out the EB Games yep. and they closed it down. You know, that's kind of their own fault. They're now, it's, you know, they, they bought the ship and now it's like a hole in the ship. And they it's were not far sighted at all. No. GameStop could have come out with like a, uh, you know, like a Steam. Yeah. You know, for consoles or something. Yeah. I mean, maybe not. Maybe the consoles yeah. wouldn't have allowed them to do that. Yeah. But that's something they could have figured yeah. something out, but they didn't. And the, and the digital future is 
here pretty yeah. much, and yeah. more and more and more and more people are buying digital. I want to buy digital more yeah. when it goes straight to the people yeah. who made the game. Right. Yeah. And uh, and you can't buy indie games generally no. at GameStop, so it's no. like they're just a middleman. Yeah. And like, why? Why do we need this? Because they want to cut. <laughs> they yeah. want to cut it. We only make two dollars on a new game. Yeah. Is what they're saying. Yeah, wow. They make two bucks on a sixty dollars game. Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. You know, it's like, well, but they make fifty five dollars yeah. in tax on, on a used, used game. game. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, and but I don't blame EA for like, fuck you. Yeah. You know, we got all these used games. We don't see any of that product yeah. at all. It's cr- so it's just terrible. It's yeah, just a mess. Absolutely. So I say just get rid of GameStop. Yeah. Stop eventually. You got to stop selling games. Just go almost yeah. all digital, except for like if you have like, it should just be your little limited and collector stuff yeah. for mm-hmm. people who want yeah. limited numbers. You just make those for the, your hardcore fans. Yeah. It's just everyone else. Buys it's hard because it's GameStop is ingrained into our culture and oh, people absolutely. people go there not just for like games anymore. They just go there for like you said other merchandise now. Yep. They go for for equipment. They go over there for. To um, hang out with the employees, yeah, man. I've made, I've made friends with guys who worked at GameStop yeah, many, time, many yeah. times. Yeah, exactly. The managers are always terrible, though. Yeah. Have you noticed that? No, I don't know. I've never... Oh I don't think God. I've ever met... Remember yeah. that guy always at the mall? Always pushy. There, God, what was that guy? It. He was always like, every time we would go in there, and he's like, hey, do you want to order this? Do you want to order oh, that? Oh, God I'm like, dude, it. just... Well, they, they, you know they me. make you yeah. do that. They have yeah, to I was like... I was like, That guy was such a douche. I thought he knew nothing about games. Yo, no, call dude. Yeah, he's like, he would do. yeah, he's like, yeah, you playing Call of Duty, man? I'm like, no, no bro, no, we're not. Yeah, I was like, no, man. But like, the, there's this little Weasley guy at the last yeah. game shop. He's nice enough, but he was yeah. the manager there. And I went to buy Gears of War Judgment when it came out, yeah. like a, like a month or two after it came out. Yeah. And I was like, I'd like the new copy. I, yeah. It was like five bucks more. I'll, I'll yeah. take the shrink wrapped <clears> yeah. new copy. Right. Yeah. He's like, well, I haven't used. I'm like, I know, but I I, I just like the new copy. Yeah. Well, it's used. I can get you like twenty percent off. Yeah. Right, I just want the used copy. I, yeah. All right, I, I just want the new copy. Yeah. Okay, fine. And then I get the game and I walk out and he gave me a used copy. Oh, oh my no shit. Really? He charged you for the new copy and gave you a used copy? No, he, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He charged me for the used copy. I just what? was I was just like, I just what swiped it. Because he, he didn't tell me. He just yeah. swiped it and I swiped my card yeah. and I... And I was like, oh, and then I walked out and I got home. I, it was yeah. in a bag. I just got home, yeah. and it was there was no shrink wrap. Popped right open, and the yeah. disc was used. It wasn't in bad condition, but I could tell yeah. it was used. He just gave me the used anyway. Wow. But fuck you guys. What the hell? Dude. Fuck you guys. Yeah, that's fucked up. So dude. it's just, uh, I don't know. That, I'm, yeah. I'm done with that company for the most yeah. part. God damn it. It's fuck not that. a good company anymore. No. They're, and they're going down, so. Yeah, so. Um, It'll be interesting. Stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, now, speaking from uh, the perspective of someone who has very little money, <laughs> um, the the biggest issue with digital, I think, all digital games is um, they seem to stay more expensive longer. Yeah. Because of the whole um, yeah. pre-owned. Yeah, but that's exactly company. that's 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 part of like game. It's not just GameStop. It's that's the physical market in itself. Yeah. Right. They can't they can't totally fuck us over. Yeah. That's what I'm saying though. Is when you're on it when you're on a budget. It, it's always, them over. It's, it's always gonna look yeah. look anyway sweeter to buy that yeah, pre-owned product for sure. For five bucks less, right, right, right. like yeah, I get that, and that's why honestly I've been such a like advocate of using Steam because Steam yeah. more than any other vendor can give you a game that's worth thirty dollars for five dollars. I'm like, and dude, you know, I, I get that some games you may not get for like six months down the road, but there are times where. A game will come out like two months ago, and they're gonna give you like thirty percent off of that. Yeah, because yeah, like, they're yeah. not paying anyone. Yeah, they're not, yeah, exactly. They're like, there's no actual materials being used for this. As long as they they're give a like, contracted yeah. rate to the publisher that yeah. the, is of the game, they yeah. can do whatever they want. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the thing is, who's to say that in a future without physical media or yeah. or with extremely limited collectors media? Yeah. Where every where ninety percent of the gamers buy their stuff digitally on PS4 and Xbox or PS and Xbox and all that shit. Yeah. Who's to say that EA, who might be struggling uh, against Call of Duty, goes yeah. well? Battlefield's forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, no, right, right. And then Call of Duty's like, well, we're forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, we're thirty five ninety nine. Yeah. And it just and you, suddenly you have games that are forty bucks. Yeah. And I wouldn't even mind like a just a op, like a wide open like just charge me for content. Like yeah. Charge you whatever you know what I mean? Like yeah. if it was just more straight because like sometimes you get six you, you pay sixty bucks for a game that's like four hours long or yeah, like, like, what the suck. fuck is this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that order eighteen eighty six game or whatever. Like oh geez. Yeah. there was no multiplayer and the story yeah. was like five hours long. It was yeah. a sixty dollar <laughs> game. Yeah. Well that game should be twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. 
If I pay twenty four ninety nine for order eighteen eighty six, yeah. I'll pay seventy five dollars for Witcher, which has two hundred and fifty hours yeah. in it, mm-hmm. or at whatever. Least, at least, yeah. You know, so yeah. they can. It, there would just be more like freedom for those companies to compete with one another. I think we would be the beneficiary of that. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, so too. Because the middleman is what it keeps it at sixty. Yeah, sixty. We yeah. have to because we have this all. This pie is hashed out. Yeah. Right, right, right. So anyway. Yeah. Pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. Uh, any final thoughts on that that we're going to touch on the last part and then wrap no, up? No, no. That's, uh, that's pretty much all my thoughts in GameStop about that. All right, cool. So the They Shall Not Pass DLC. Nice. I love all that stuff. <laughs> uh, as promised, DICE Today shared a lot of details about Battlefield 1's first paid expansion. They Shall Not Pass. A post on the game's <laughs> website outlines the new... Uh, there's a new maps, weapons, items, modes, and more. Oh, so they are. Uh, oh, weapons. new weapons. There you yeah, go. Yeah. The four cool. maps in the French-themed add-on. Oh, but yeah. they're French weapons. Oh. Damn it. You just shoot, like, white flags out or something. <laughs> you guys are fucking just ridiculous. Glitter. <laughs> they just shoot glitter. Yeah. <laughs> baguettes. They shoot <She's> baguettes. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> God damn, Mary. Suglibou. 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 Um... So, dude, just last <laughs> night I was talking about the one of the maps is called Verdun Heights. Oh, Verdun's nice. one of the yeah main w- battles of that. Yeah, one of the war. goriest battles. Yeah, I, um, it's actually it's it's one of the uh, in casualty wise, it's one of the uh, the biggest battles in human history. history is, yeah. There's two of them in World War yeah. One. It was Verdun and Somme. Somme yeah. is I, I believe when I was doing research was the deadliest battle in history of oh, wow. mankind recorded. Yeah. Shit. Um, I I, and I Verdun is like three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Jesus like, yeah. yeah. Um, so Verdun Heights, Fort Val, uh, Sosan, and Rupture. You can click through the images. Oh, well, there's images here. They give yeah. you some images and shit. So they're adding the French army. Yeah. Um, they shall not pass adds the French army whose soldiers wear the blue uniforms, as well as a new mode called Front Lines. Uh oh. This is described as a mix of Conquest and Rush. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Both teams fly for one flag at a time, and when this objective is captured, the action moves on to the next. Oh, Mm. so like a King of the Hill kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Capture the enemy's HQ control point, and the game turns into a rush-style section where telegraph posts need to be attacked or defended. Interesting. In terms of vehicles, the new DLC adds the Char 2C tank, which is based on a a real tank. It's a new behemoth behemoth class vehicle that DICE says can be used to turn the tide of the entire battle. Another tank, the saint Chamon, is added with the expansion as well, while a new elite class called the Trench Raider comes to the game. A melee-focused class, the elite Trench Raider uses a Raider Club and has access to an uh, impressive grenade arsenal. (laughs) Okay. A new stationary field gun, the Siege Howitzer, is also included. Uh, It can be fired by any infantry player. Um, No release date has been announced for the DLC. Uh, However, it's going to be sometime in March. Uh, if you own the premium pass, <laughs> you can play it uh, but who doesn't? two weeks early. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know if I have it or not. I, I definitely don't. I definitely don't. <laughs> I was like, plus in March, I'm like, I'm probably gonna be playing for honor yeah. for a while. So yeah, like I, as a like, I know that I shouldn't buy this. Yeah. But like as the like the nerdy ass historian, like this is so cool. Like, yeah. We're done in the French army and yeah, all this stuff. I'm like, oh, I want to play that. It is pretty cool. I, I really want to yeah. play that. So I'm kind of a victim. No, yeah, I, I get it. I mean, it looks a willing it sounds, victim. It sounds cool. It adds going. It's going to add new content. I mean, soldiers. I mean, to, yeah, to, whole new army is really weapons, cool. Weapons. Um, yeah, whole new whole new army. So, I think it's going to be cool. What do you think it'll be priced at? 20? 20, 25? Oh, 20 at least. Yeah. 20, yeah. 20 or thirty. Yeah, twenty thirty. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's if, if it's, it's as big four as new city. maps. That's, yeah. And their maps are big. Yeah, so. and they have oh, to, yeah. and each map has to kind of work with all the different game modes. Yeah. So. That's what I was gonna say. They'll cut it up too to fit with domination. Yeah, yeah. there'll be domination. There's pro- probably gonna be new operations. They didn't say. Oh. I would think yeah. Verdun has to be your operation. Yeah. It has to be. And yeah. it has to be. runner up or not runner up, but uh, I would say contender for one of the best operations too. The way you're describing the battle. Well, Verdun is yeah. like, oh, Verdun it, and yeah. Somme are like classic. Yeah. Trench warfare. So yeah. I don't know if they're going to do it. I mean, like, really traditional. Dude, it could be fucking Trench awesome. warfare is charged, dude. This I mean, they're like, adding the trench raider guy. The all-melee class. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, Kevin, that sounds like dude, right up your alley. Dude, that's all me, dude. Just break out a samurai sword and shit, dude. You're just a la akbar yeah. people all fucking day long. That's all you do is... No, you just, like, jump into the trench and just, like, grenades, apparently. So I'm, like, just, like... They've already had the Ottomans, guys. Just, like, unveil my, like, trench coat, just all grenades. Just pull all pins at the same time. Ian is face palming right now for those of you who oh are. Oh my god. 
you tweet the baguette comment. The baguette. That was hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, but whoever's uh, in charge of naming these DLCs is pretty cool. Just guys oh, they're killing. Oh, yeah, dude. That's they're the best part. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. That's the best part. And, and part of it, like, it, it is funny because it's, you know, obviously it's about, you yeah. know, you're getting the Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, like, that whole thing, they should not pass. Yeah. It's like the, the Germans purposely attacked the forces of Redun because yeah. it's like a cultural... Historical yeah. holds a lot of meaning, and yeah. back in those days, it's all about like nationalism yeah, and your right. like pride of country. Yeah. And they knew that if they attacked that fortress and destroyed it, it yeah. would like demoralize them all because it's like yeah. a symbol of like French power. Yeah. So they attacked it on purpose yeah. so that the French would just dig the fuck in, yeah. and they would lose their yeah. ability to fight on other areas. Yeah. So it was just like a they just like knew and they, yeah. they did exactly they're predictable they did yeah. exactly what they thought they exactly would. yeah so that's crazy that's kind of what they shall not pass is like the French being like yeah. we can never let them have this yeah like the Germans would soil our yeah national our heritage. country yeah plus so that's what that whole battle is all about yeah. so. plus Lord of the Rings is cool yeah plus yeah Lord of the Rings you know. is badass so always well everyone fun. already knows that that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> the surface level dude I take okay, away I talked to somebody uh, at work about Lord of the Rings and. She didn't know what the hell it was. I was like, "Yeah, what? I know, dude. Like, it's what? a rough world out there." Yeah, dude. I was like, <sighs> "How do you not know about Lord of the Rings?" I'm like, "Get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck away from me!" Like, okay, from yeah, it. yeah. So yeah. I understand if she hasn't seen it, but yeah. she didn't know what it was. She didn't know what it was. Like she, she, she well, I mean, she like she knew the movies. She's like, "Those are movies, right?" And I'm like, yeah. "Okay, yeah." So she, she, but she never, she doesn't know what it is. She's just like, "What is it about?" And that I'm hurts like, my brain. I was like, "You don't." Well, there's elves and like men. And, and you just like, sound ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I was like, it's like the basis of like everything. all fantasy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, that's what I told her. I was like, it's basically the beginning of high fantasy. You know, oh, high fantasy. She's yeah. not gonna know what high yeah, fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, uh, I sound really dumb right now. So I was like, it's like, so let me just. Let me just stop. <laughs> we'll just we'll just stop right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're so, not gonna know what high fantasy yeah, is. Yeah. So, but yeah, cool. Sounds good to me. I'm I, I'm pumped for it. Yeah, I, 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 I might not get it immediately, but I, yeah, I, I plan on buying it. Yeah, same. especially if it's same a good here. DLC that's not ripping us off. Yeah, yeah I, I have no issue with DLC in principle. Yeah, it's just how you give it to us, when you give it to us, how much are you charging for yes. it, and what's in it. Yeah, you know, like that's a lot of the times it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All the time. Most, screw you more times than not. Yeah. Like Star Wars Battlefront? Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am a Star Wars fan. I yeah. fell for it. I wanted to go play in Bespin, but man, mm-hmm. there was like hardly anything in there. Yeah. They only charged 15 bucks for it, though. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just felt like that game was incomplete in the, to begin with. Yeah. Right. But I felt like Battlefield had a lot, quite yeah, a bit of content. Yeah, I think it was a complete game. I felt like I, I didn't feel ripped off with no. 60 bucks for that yeah, game. I no, I feel like every issue we had was little things. Yeah. Like, little remember how uh, on the most recent... Whoever, yeah, whoever yeah. designed the UI and all that shit. It, well, and you, that you couldn't... Up, or, um, Customize your classes unless you were in a game. Oh Remember God, we had that, that was so fucking. We were annoying. all like, uh, "We like, can, hey, uh, can we just jump into a game yeah, real quick so we can change our?" Yeah, guns? no, we're all like, "Let's go change our weapons." We had to fucking jump issue. into a game. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. fixed that. They, they did, right, right. Yeah. Uh, and then, Big and then, issues. like, just basically, you know, like, just give me a goddamn lobby. What the yeah, fuck are you doing? Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been partying For Honor, has, For Honor yeah. has lobbies. Good. But they made sure Ubisoft doesn't want to be too much better, so they're like, "Well, we'll give you lobbies." But we're also going to give you peer-to-peer servers. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Yeah. So I hope so your host doesn't drop fucked. out of the game. Mason's so fucked. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> there were so many matches we played. The host has left the game, and we sat there for like twenty-five seconds waiting for God him to find a new host. Like this is terrible. I know. So, and for a game, see that's going to be an issue. If they are trying to tailor this game to be a competitive game, you it need is. Is. dedicated servers. Absolutely. I'm like, I'm like, Blizzard knows that, and they did that day one. I was, I was gonna like, say we talked about yeah. Overwatch yeah, last was, week, and yeah, I'm like Blizzard knew that, and they're like, yeah, Battlefield has it, yeah, 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 yeah Call right. of Duty has it. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You be something. Wait, it's called, wait, I don't play Call of Duty. Am I, am I just full shit? No, I no, think they absolutely. Yeah, they have yeah, dedicated server. Yeah. Absolutely. All that Twitch shooting dude without with lag, if that that would be no go. Yeah, yeah. Activism yeah. don't give a fuck about you. That's a solid point. Yeah, but yeah, we'll see. I'm pumped for I, fucking. I'm pumped for, for the game. It's just so yeah. different and new and yeah. And uh, Ubisoft is an, it's such an interesting company. They're gonna have in like a year span. They'll have Watch Dogs Two, For Honor, and South Park. Oh yeah, <laughs> they have just a big I'm library. I'm so of stuff. excited for fucking South Park. I am so. Did you guys hear that Destiny Two is coming out this year? Yeah. I was like, I just learned this like I, like I, last week. I'm like, oh, what really? the fuck? I was yeah. like. They're, they're making a second one. I was oh, like, they were talking about their second one being yeah. made back when I was still working at Discovery. Oh, really? Jesus. Jesus. 
Yeah. But those were kind of rumors. Yeah, that's was rumors. I like rumors, and I was like, after the results, I'm like, I, thought, I thought they were like, no, let's let's not do that. You think that. E3? You think that's where they're going to show that off? Probably, yeah. I think they're going to be released. Are you guys season. even interested <clears throat> remotely at all? Well, I was going to ask, do you think it's too yeah. soon? I, I know it sounds weird, but there's still people who play that yeah. fucking game religiously. Well, yeah. I think that it's going to be their attempt to be like, I don't know if they'll let them like take their characters in or not no, or whatever. I don't Probably think not. Be, yeah. this is a really? game. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. There's, this is all yeah. speculation. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know if they're going to... Uh, is it their attempt to go get that really big swath of people who were like us? Yeah. Because, like, we're in, we were saying last week we're a minority. We're really not. Yeah. There's a huge group of people who are like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, like, who would still be interested in playing a there great a bungee very, shooter with a good story. There is a cult following, but it's... It's a sizable cult following. Like, yes, we a lot of us do, don't like a majority. I would say I would majority. Say it's like 50, 50. Yeah, I'd say fifty. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'd say fifty fifty. Yeah. There's a massive group of people yeah, playing. It. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe they're trying to tailor and get people back into the game. Like, I mean, are they? Like, honestly, watch them come out. There'll be like a big story. Dude, it's gonna yeah. be all about narrative. And knowing try Bungie, and Bungie has never been amazing at telling stories. Well, they got rid and, of the one dude. That yeah, was that's good what I'm saying. Yeah, I was like, so what the fuck is his name? But he was uh, Donald something. I think the most important question. Yeah. um, Does Peter Dinklage get his redemption? Yeah, dude. No. No. What? Dude, Peter Dinklage. They're not going to count out Peter Dinklage. They fucking kicked him out of the game and like removed him, like retroactively took him away. But maybe he. uh, Going to have him back. Maybe he'll come back as an actual like. Person like oh they, like a little motion, magic guard. Yeah, like we're gonna get a dwarf class. Is yeah, dude, dwarf <laughs> class. Is that offensive? Yeah, I, f- I feel mean. Dude, that would be that would be, be no. It'll be kind of um. It's gonna be okay. Kind of, <laughs> it'll be kind of like unfair though, because like whenever someone tries to shoot at you, they'd be like way lower, and you have to aim for the knees and stuff, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah that was my concern. The knee level, but like, nah, dude, that's not fair. Peter but, Dinklage. Oh, uh, Joseph Statton. Twenty Statton. Okay. That's his name, Joseph Statton. Yeah. He wrote the original Halo story. Yeah. I mean, with help. Yeah, I mean, with help. Was, but he was, like, the main dude behind, yeah. like, the lore and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, the the halos that people love. Yeah. His stuff. Yeah. And You mean Halo 5? Yeah. No. <laughs> not no. Halo 5. Not no. Halo 4. No, yeah, not Halo 4. If 1, if 2, looks could 3, kill and yeah. Reach. Yeah. The best Halo games... Yeah. Just also happen to have stories written by Joseph yeah. Satan, and he's not there. Either. <laughs> he wrote a big story for Bungie. They're like, nah. And they cut it all out, yeah. and then they made the mess that they had, and he he's not part with the company anymore. So. Yeah. So, hopefully, they learn from their mistakes. I, all I can say yeah. is, like, I have high hopes because if they did, and I uh, I have high hopes because for the sake of Bungie's name in itself, because they, they are a great they're studio. Amazing. That yeah, game so, is awesome. We've never said the yeah. Destiny was a bad. Yeah. Shooter. So um, if they learn from their mistakes. Then all the, all the power to them. Yeah, and I, I'll play it yeah. if it's. Yeah, if it's I'm not buying. I'm just not buying it. Isn't that so weird though? How <laughs> the three of us are on the same page uh, with like it's a great game. We yeah. just don't play it. Yeah, it's just, it just weird. It's a solid game. It yeah. doesn't do what I want. Right. It doesn't yeah. give me what I want from it. Yeah, because like it, here's the thing: like it tries to portray itself as like a Diablo loot system. Right. But it's. Totally not. You know, like it doesn't drop as often as Diablo gear does. RNG was. It, I don't know the RNG in there was fucking. And you have to beat a boss like seventy it. times to get a single item that you would want from them. I'm like, dude, no fucking the giant bullet sponges. Yeah, I was like, just no, dude. I'm not playing. Yeah, just, twenty minutes of shooting a dude is so. Yeah. It's just not good gameplay. Yeah. It's like, all right, this is. It just grabs that that audience. Uh, it does. Border, yeah. Borderlands Dude. did a very similar thing. Yeah, Borderlands, but that's what I'm saying. Borderlands did like a really similar Diablo style loot system. Division. Yeah, I'm like, but I'm like, loot in um, Destiny was not good and it was shitty and it was like not even worth anything. No, like, it was just there was just, it's very bare bones like outside of just the mechanics of the game. Yeah, it's very very plain. Yeah, yeah, and there was it you. was just yeah. like the little the, the mission structure. Yeah, there thing. was like it was, no, just, yeah. there was, it was just. Like that, the whole left side of the game. Yeah, 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 you know, like, like if I could, if I could divide it into two, the yeah. right side is like your right, like the right side of your brain, yeah. right? Like mm-hmm. so, the like you have the gameplay yeah. and the graphics and the sound design was all yeah. like the technical of, of yeah. that game was great, but there was no story, was shitty writing, yeah. the RNG didn't work, it just it was like really short. Yeah. Really, really short. Yeah. yeah, and you had just—it was really repetitive, like an MMO kind of feel to it. Like yeah. we grind, like that's what they were trying to do. Endlessly yeah. grind the same yeah. missions over and yeah, over. Yeah, that's—I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not at all. I need some kind of like—I feel like I need yeah. reasons to be places when yeah. I'm playing games. Yeah, um, which is just my problem. Yeah, know? but right. <laughs> so, but I think they're gonna be like this time. It yeah. has a story. 
<laughs> That'll be probably, not in, probably not in those words. Yeah. <laughs> and not like that. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna try to win us back. That's yeah. my idea. <laughs> so we'll see, man. Uh, yeah, there's man. a lot of like games coming out that we don't know anything about that are coming yeah. out really soon, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. Like It's like they Fallout, set, Fallout 4 like set that precedent. Yeah. And I feel like everyone's been... Yeah. Red Dead Redemption, we just know it's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. We don't know when it's or any this details. Year. Or any, That's yeah. all they said. Yeah. That's it. So, they just dropped yeah. that little trailer. Gone. Yeah. Like, a bunch of games are like that. Well, like, God excited. of War? What's yeah. going on with God of War? They showed that a beautiful One, yeah, trailer. Yeah. That like, holy fuck, this looks awesome. Yeah, nothing. nothing. Yep. So, like, there's just all these games that, like, we know are just going to come out at some point this year. Yeah. Like, it's going to be a good year. Yeah. yeah I think it really is going to be an awesome year, so. Yeah. Any final closing thoughts about anything, guys? No, anything man. I, I think we, we made it. It's, uh, it's... Just over an hour, yeah, guys. Yeah, just over an hour. We're Holy slowly man. cutting it down. Yeah, I think it's just a slow week. Yeah, a little news. slow week, yeah. Um, and it's, like, fucking hot as shit in here. It's really hot. <laughs> we, have, we have somewhere to be in, like, an hour or two. Yeah, so... Kevin's balls smell like lo mein. Yeah, just... Um, they always smell like lo mein. Lo- they lo- always lo- smell like lo mein, though, you know. Brings back that South Park episode. Every time someone talks oh, about their balls. I don't understand the reference. Oh, my God. I don't understand I, the reference. I haven't seen a lot of South Park, but there's one episode where Cartman is trying to get Kyle to suck his balls <laughs> because they signed a contract. The Imagination Land. The Imagination <laughs> Land. It's obviously a genius mm-hmm. plot. Yeah, oh, he, it is. Dude, because he head. makes a bet of like a leprechaun. Well, that's the that's the brilliant thing. And I don't yeah. even watch that show that yeah. much. But the brilliant thing about South Park is that they dress really complex issues yeah. in the most simplistic imagery. Ways. I've heard it's like the best social commentary there is. That even television. that that yeah. whole thing is yeah. like, oh, our our uh, the terrorists have attacked our imagination. Yeah. <laughs> we have to nuke our imagination because our imagination's running wild. Yeah. Oh like God. it's like they yeah. they talk about this high level shit. Yeah. And but they cover it. They just yeah. they make people who would not the, people don't give it the time of day. Yeah. Right. Right. Because it's like you they woke up like suck my balls. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is a terrible show. It's time for you to suck my balls. Yeah. Kyle. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> He's like, the world is ending, but Carmen, all Carmen cares about is that Kyle makes his end of the deal because lepre- there is a leprechaun. There is a leprechaun. <laughs> they find a leprechaun. <laughs> and he travels across the nation. He's like, when you said the low main comment, he, he goes, I haven't had a chance to shower. It's my balls are extra vinegar. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. Uh? <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Uh, I think Kyle just, like, has to just come to the realization. He's like, all right, fine, whatever. But it never happens. Yeah, it never it happens. never happens, <laughs> fucking Cartman. Yep. Uh, it's like, I actually feel like I need to, like, really watch, like, all of that. Dude, I, uh, South I want to see all of it. South Park I, is by far my favorite animated, car- show? A- animated cartoon show of all time. Yeah. Like, it's just, it, they find Trey Parker and Matt Stone find a way to stay relevant throughout what 15 16 years now yeah and I'm like every episode is just fucking laughs man I'm the, I just love that I love that it's just a, it's just a mix that doesn't seem like yeah. a mix that doesn't seem like a go together like yeah. intellectualism yeah and like an- analysis of like society yeah, and, and immature politics like sexual mixed with jokes the most, and, yeah the yeah, most abhorrent vulgar, like, yeah. so it's just a very weird thing when you're watching you're yeah. like god like they're making me think, but then they're making me laugh because they're making dick jokes. So yeah. It's just a really weird they're thing. They're obviously doing something right. Man. Yeah, I, it's long learning. Yeah. So I've barely seen that show. I'd like to catch up with it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the podcast, yeah. right? Yep, I think that's... No, I have no closing thoughts. Thanks for asking. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I'm I sorry. Asked you. No, no um, closing thoughts I'm pretty either. sure you addressed that to Kevin. Anyway, I just, um, I'm yeah. facing hey. both of you. I, yeah, I have closing thoughts. Ian, thanks for asking. Yeah. Do you? Um, Wait, do you? Fuck both of you. You just, cause, you, you, you just said you, the yeah. microphone said you don't have thoughts. And that was on principle. That was to make a point. Well, <laughs> that was I to make like you to okay, feel thoughts. guilty for not asking like me. Your closing thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you asked. God damn it, man. <laughs> no, I really don't have any. Um, no, oh, I, <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bastard. I was like, looking forward to hearing Guys, what you Guys, it's hot in here. I'm hallucinating. I'm pretty sure Kevin's a mirage. Dude. Either way, I'm very excited for this month. I'm rubbing my nipples. Yeah. Okay, well, that was unnecessary. Mason, so what? For the games coming up, um, it's mainly just in February that I know of, but it's going to be a good year. Um, hopefully yeah, there aren't too many delays. Yeah, yeah, yeah not too many. Um, oh, I think that's why they're not announcing shit. Because yeah. they're starting to learn I think like, you're correct. 16 yeah. delays gets old. Yeah. I think and you're correct. stop caring about your game after um, To Kevin's point, I think For Honor is going to take up a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, which will be good. It's what yeah. we need right now. It's a good game to absorb our time. Um, yeah. And Horizon, I... 
<laughs> that sounded. Uh, I don't know what that was. That sounded inappropriate. That was, <laughs> that was very odd. Um, I'm aroused. <laughs> um, so am I. Hor- <laughs> oh my god! It's because she's a redhead. All right, we need to get um, out. Pretty much. Hori- <laughs> All right, Horizon. I'm excited. Uh, I'll get it done with. Um, thank you guys again for having yeah. me. Please, Fuck yeah, dude. as often as you want. I love doing this. Okay. This is honestly dude. like the most fun thing I do. <laughs> dude, dude, that's as pathetic what? as that is. What? It's dog. so much fun. Mason, just shut just up. Mason, shut up. <laughs> we should do this in a sauna from now on. Oh my god. Like we're really already. <laughs> this is yeah. a sauna. That's a, but I don't feel your guys' sweat on me yet, and that's what we need. Okay. Oh, we'll do you know do what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll do, do like swap towels. Yeah, <laughs> I think we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that later. So, but really, thank yeah. you. We're again. about to swap pajama pants. Yeah, yeah, so God, I'm gonna leave that there with no context. No context at all for swapping pajama pants. Wow. All right, cool. That's you, a, I'm yeah. leaving that to the immediate that'll them imagination. In, that'll leave them in hard question. Ian, yeah. do you have any closing thoughts? No. Swapping pajama pants and ending this episode All right, right peace now. Peace out. Bye-bye. Later.